Hello everyone! Today, we're time traveling back to an era of horsemen and empires to unravel a unique culinary tale. Before we dive in, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a journey with us. Now, let's embark on this adventure. Genghis Khan the name alone conjures images of a fierce conqueror who carved out one of the largest empires in history. But have you ever wondered, what did the Great Khan eat? The Mongol Empire spanned diverse geographies, and the cuisine was influenced by this variety. But let's start with the basics, the Mongolian steppe, Genghis Khan's homeland. The Mongolian steppe is a harsh environment, with its scorching summers and freezing winters. Yet it's home to hardy herders and their livestock. Naturally, the traditional Mongol diet was heavily reliant on animal products. A day in the life of Genghis Khan would likely start with a simple breakfast, maybe some dried curd or yogurt. Then for lunch, he might have enjoyed arag, a traditional fermented mare's milk. Sounds interesting, right? Dinner would be the heartiest meal. Here, we might see boiled mutton or even horse meat. Yep, you heard that right, horse meat. Unusual to our modern palate, isn't it? But remember, the Mongols were horsemen, and in harsh winters, survival sometimes meant dining on their trusted companions. They also had a unique way of preparing meat known as budog. The animal was butchered, deboned, and the meat, along with hot stones, was stuffed back into the skin, which was then cooked from inside out. Talk about resourceful cooking! However, as the Mongol Empire expanded, their cuisine too evolved, integrating food cultures from conquered lands. From China, they adopted agricultural products like grain and vegetables, even developing a taste for rice wine. From Persia, they learned about sophisticated seasonings and luxury foods, enriching their previously simple diet. The food on Genghis Khan's table started to reflect the diversity of his vast empire. Food, you see, tells a powerful story. It's not just about what's on the plate, it's about survival, culture, conquest, and exchange. Genghis Khan, the feared warrior, through his diet also became an unintentional food connoisseur. From fermented mare's milk to exotic Persian spices, his menu was as diverse as the lands he ruled. Each meal, each dish, was a testament to his conquests and his empire's cultural diversity. So the next time you're sipping your latte or biting into a juicy burger, remember that food isn't just sustenance, it's a tale of who we are, where we've come from, and sometimes, like with Genghis Khan, it's a tale of empires built and cultures woven together. Just imagine. Each bite of Boo Dog, each sip of Arag, tells a story of survival, strength, and adaptation. Each meal was a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Mongols, a celebration of their triumphs. And that's the culinary journey of Genghis Khan. From humble herder to world conqueror, his diet was a reflection of his life and legacy, a blend of simplicity and diversity, much like the empire he built. Imagine being in a market in Genghis Khan's era. The smells, the colors, the chatter, you'd find an astonishing array of ingredients from across the empire, representing the vastness of Khan's territory. There were Chinese rice and noodles, Persian spices, fruits from Central Asia, and of course the traditional meat and dairy products of Mongolia. It wasn't just an empire Genghis Khan was building, it was a grand melting pot of culinary traditions. And let's not forget about the Silk Road, one of the greatest trade routes in history traversing the entire Mongol Empire. This connected the distant corners of the empire, facilitating not just the exchange of goods, but of ideas and yes, food. Spices from the Middle East, rice wine from China, and techniques like roasting and baking, previously unknown to the Mongols, became part of their culinary vocabulary. It was an era of culinary revolution, fueled by conquest. Imagine attending a feast at the Great Khan's court, the air filled with the scent of roasting meat, sweet Persian pastries, and the strong aroma of fermented drinks. It was a sensory celebration of the empire's diversity. However, despite these influences, the Mongols didn't lose their culinary identity. 
horse meat, mutton, dairy products, they remain staples, reminding them of their roots in the harsh steppes. Even on their campaigns, Mongol warriors carried dried cheese and meat, food that could be easily stored and consumed on the go. Resourcefulness was still a key part of the Mongol identity, reflected in their food. From the steppes of Mongolia to the opulence of his expansive empire, Genghis Khan's diet is a mirror to his life. It's the tale of a people, their survival, their conquests, and their legacy, a testament to the powerful role of food in shaping history. And that's a wrap on Genghis Khan's Epicurean journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating deep dives into the meals of history's most influential figures. Keep exploring, keep learning, and as the Mongols would say, Burubal Uriabal. Be strong, be courageous.